This is our video number 14 on payroll accounting in Dell ERP 9. And in this video, we are discussing about the salary details. We are discussing about the salary structure for payroll accounting in Dell ERP 9. So what is this salary details or salary structure? We can add, delete or change a payhead component or its value for individual employees. To quickly enter the pay structure for each employee, we need to define the pay structure or salary details uh, using pay heads which are applicable to most employees. You can then copy and apply the same structure for each employee. So when we need to define the salary structure or salary detail in Tel ERP 9, you can define this salary structure for an employee. You can do also define the same salary structure or salary detail for employee group. So when we are defining this salary detail for employee and for employee group, we can also do the configuration settings uh, through, uh, through F12 for salary details. So now how to define a salary structure or salary details for individual employee or for employee group for our department. So for that we need to go in Dell ERP 9. So for that we need to go in payroll info. In payroll info we have salary details. In salary details we need to define. So here we have departments and we have individual employees. Let's assume it. First, I'm going to define the salary structure, the salary details for accounts department. In a layman language, salary details or salary structure means the layout of your salary slip. That's how your salary slip will look like. So we need to design all the pay heads. So I'm going to define this in the accounts department. Press enter. So effective from 0101 Enter. So here we have the basic salary. Enter. <coughs> Enter. Then you can add after basic salary, we have convenience allowance. Enter. Then we have house rent allowance. Enter. Then we have holiday pays. Enter. Then we have a bonus pay. Enter. We have overtime. Enter. Enter. We have uh, at once again salary. Enter. We have loan. Enter. And we have gratuity limited contracts. Enter. So this is how we need to define the salary details. And that is for accounts department. That is for the, uh, uh, for the departments in Tel ERP 9. So end of list. And, and save it. Now, what I want to do, look, that is employee, which is Ali. That is under which department? That is under accounts department. Then we have another employee, which is a Batman, under marketing department. I already defined the salary details in the account department. For example, if you have 50 or 100 employees, you need to enter this individual detail one by one and it will take a lot of time to save our time we just created the salary detail in the accounts department and for other employees I can copy paste I can copy paste from the accounts department so let's suppose we're gonna try this early which is under the accounts department so enter so effective date 0101 2020 enter Okay, so we're going to try with this employee, which is Ali. Enter. So effective date 0101-2020. Enter. Now, what do you want to do? You want to start afresh or you want to copy from the parent value? So I want to copy from the parent value, which is the accounts department. Enter. So it will copy paste the entire salary details. It will copy paste the entire pay heads. 
So save it, control A. Similarly, I'm gonna now define it for uh, for Batman, which is uh, in, uh, which is under marketing department. So it is not under the parent value, which is uh, accounts department, because when we are defining the Ali, Ali is under the accounts department. So it copied the value from the accounts department. So now we have another employee, which is a Batman, and Batman is under the marketing department. So go in, uh, select Batman, enter effective date. Enter. Now you want to copy from employee group. Uh, employee group is accounts department. Enter. And we are copying from the accounts department. Enter. And it will also copy paste the entire uh, the pay heads from accounts department into our this employee, which is Batman. Control A to save it. Similarly, you can define it for department also. Now I'm going to define it for this John Wick, which is under. Uh, accounts department also enter effective date enter copy from the parent value which is account department enter and it copy paste the entire pay heads now here we have this f12 which is configuration settings enter so here we have uh, salary details configuration allow to override slab percentage so you can make this option yes Allow copy from employees also. Right now we are copy pasting from the accounts uh, from the groups. So allow copy from employees also. You can make this option yes and control A to save it. So this is how we are defining the salary details in Delhi RP9.